Hi, I'm Merrick D'Amato. And I represent the Green. And welcome back to Mind Breakers. Yes, the show that is also part of the Green. You know, that one green part of your brain that's, like, molding. <laughs> so, By this point, it is. <laughs> so, as Gio is hinting at with his um, various references, we are doing Swamp Thing today. Yes, a DC who, film. Yeah, a DC film by Wes Craven. Yes. I, I've been looking forward to this. From 1982. So have I. I've, I've heard about it, and I've ne- but I've never actually seen it all the way through. I haven't seen anything from it, but I heard little things, and mm-hmm. the little birds, they tweeted that it was nice. Now, I was introduced to Swamp Thing by the same mod who got me into a lot of the horror stuff. Mm-hmm. Through an odd way, um... She collected action figures. That's also where I picked that up. Okay. But she had one, which was of Swamp Thing. Oh, really? That's that's a weird and that's pick. how I found out. Well, because Swamp Thing had the cartoon. Oh, yeah. Which we're gonna get to eventually. Uh huh. <laughs> right. So there were toys of the cartoon, and there was like this bright green one, and like you'd press a button on his back, and he'd have the, like the 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 strings through his arms and legs, and he'd like collapse. Oh. You know those toys? The, uh, yeah, I remember game? those. They had yeah. a lot of different ones where it's like literally you just press a button and they'd like either fall apart or like they'd just like, they'd fall down. They mostly have them with like the platform. Yeah. You like just press the button on the platform and yeah. then they, like they, the string like, would loosen. They, I know they had one of those for um, one of the X-Men toys because uh-huh. there was a saber tooth mm. from the movie. Yeah. And one of those cops who he beats across the face who faints and then they steal his, his uniform. Uh, they, they made a figure of that. They so, still make, like, thing, like things like that of, like, cows and stuff. Yeah. But, like, uh, there might have been, like, one of Mr. Fantastic, probably. Oh, I feel like there definitely. would be one. Uh, but, they made, but they made one a Swamp Thing, and this is my introduction to the character. I knew nothing about the guy. Oh, but though, that's, a, that's, a weird, though, that's a weird grab from that, then. Ghost Rider is my favorite comic book character. Uh-huh. If I need to pick a favorite DC comic book character... It is Swamp Thing. Yeah. Specifically there from the Alan Moore run. Oh, yeah. His, his run on it was... Because, I mean, Saga of the Swamp Thing is... Actually, I think... And this is this is going far. Yeah. But my favorite Alan Moore. Hmm. I like one. it more than The Killing Joke, more than V for Vendetta, and more than Watchmen. I, I like uh, I like his uh, I like his run on Animal Man too. That was good. Okay. Well, what, wait. Wasn't that uh, Garth Ennis? No, it might have been Garth Ennis. Yeah, remember. I think it was Garth Ennis who did Animal Man. Or Grant Morrison? Was it Grant Morrison? Grant Morrison. It was one of the. It was one of the two. It's the, it's the one that got very very disturbing and brought him a red. Right. Yeah. I think yeah, but it uh, it was like it was like really dark, and I think like Animal Man's good, but I like Swamp Thing. I think a little better, mm. just because like he's just. He is nature. He becomes like just the. He's he is like he basically is like just Gaia. Yeah. Like a representation of Gaia, or like the closest thing that the universe and has to it. The thing with Swamp Thing is he's my favorite character, but uh-huh. Swamp Thing is my favorite DC comic. Right. Favorite DC comic is House of Mystery, mm-hmm. and House of Mystery doesn't really <laughs> have like. Rec- I mean, I technically Kane, mm-hmm. and I I, I do love. The, the cane, the host, uh, the, the kind of, like, Crypt Keeper host for House of Mystery. Yeah, but, but... it, like, barely has, like, a, a host, really. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching, speaking of hosts, I've been watching, like, Doom Patrol. Nice. And Doom Patrol is really good. I like it a lot so far. Mm. And, like, the bad guy is so fucking hokey. I love it. It's like... Isn't it a... Isn't the bad guy, like, a brain in a tube? Carried around by a monkey in a red beret with a machine gun? Not even! Not even, because that actually makes more sense than what the real bad guy is. The real bad guy is just a... He's like a... He calls himself, I think, a Rubik's Cube? Okay. And he basically... He used to be a scientist, but he ended up getting experimented on himself and getting, like, separated of, of long, like, several different dimensions. Hmm. And he has a, a, a goat... That basically farts out chaos. It's got like an interdimension, like it's got another dimension inside of itself. Like you only can get it through it eating you or like sucking you through a wormhole. It's fucked up, but I love it. It's so great. The characters in Doom Patrol are hilarious. Fuck, are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> if you 
you watch the show, of course you'd understand, but like so far it's like it's just it's so weird. I love it because You watch weird. the show and you don't entirely sound like you understand. Because <laughs> I've only watched like three episodes so far. Anyway, I've been watching it. Without further ado, Swamp Thing. Yes. After a violent incident with a special chemical, a research scientist is turned into a swamp plant monster. <laughs> of course. He lives in the ball. The, oh, this is pre Alan Moore. Uh huh. This is when it was Len Wein. Uh huh. Wow. He's the swamp man living in the bog. He feels like the czar. The best. Alice Cable, Dr. Alec Holland. Little bitches on the block getting charred. <laughs> the only actor I really know in this is Adrienne Barbeau, uh-huh. who. This, this is not her only uh, DC property. What else has she been in? In Batman the Animated Series, oh. she is the voice of Catwoman. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I I don't really remember her doing that, but like I I haven't watched the animated series in so long. Also, it's you wouldn't really immediately know that this person you know by her face is right. the voice actor of a character. It's like if you asked me like a week ago if I knew who it was, I would have probably been like, it, "Was it Eartha Kitt that like voiced the animated?" Like, no, but that would be awesome. Yeah. And we also, um, interesting, another Mind Breakers connection to Batman the Animated Series. What's that? Um, I, you weren't there for, for, you weren't there to watch the movie, but you know, uh, Warrior and the, the Sword and the Sorcerer? Yeah, of course I remember Sword and the Sorcerer. Zusha. Uh huh. Is the voice of Two Face. Hmm. That's cool. And of course, Ron Perlman is Clay, is, is Clayface. Yeah, I can't, you can't forget that voice, man. You cannot forget the, that Clayface voice. He was just like, he just represented that character for me. It's really good. Also, did you know that uh, both Alfred and Doc Ock from the Spider-Man animated series are played by the same voice actor? No, I didn't know that one. Yeah, it was played by Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. Cool. All right, so uh, we're going to watch this. Uh... And he also showed up alongside Mark Hamill uh-huh. from both the Batman and <laughs> Spider-Man animated series in the video game Gabriel Knight, Sins of a Father. That's cool. we got to watch for those overlays, honestly, because like, uh, there's like so much overlap with these voice actors. Like You just you forget sometimes. And there's like a hard group of voice actors in the 90s. Oh, yeah, they were just... Things. Yeah, they were the group. Like Scott McNeil. Mm-hmm. Scott would occasionally uh, be just the cast uh, of <laughs> Bender. Like, yeah, he was in a lot of yeah. Um, uh, Cree Summer, obviously. Mm-hmm. Jennifer Hale. Anyway, let us know. watch Swamp Thing. We will drown in the you sun. are amazing. Hopefully, it is amazing. <laughs> Hopefully, it's better than the cartoon. Oh God. <laughs> Government agents, scientists, soldiers, master criminals, secret formulas, monsters, and midgets. None of them belong in this swamp. Only one thing does. The Swamp Bear. Uh-huh. Here comes trouble. The Swamp Thing. There goes the neighborhood. Adrienne Barbeau and The Swamp Thing, an outrageous pair in the incredible adventure that grows on you or all over you. The Adventures of the Swamp Thing. The comic book legend lives. Monsters and midgets! Swamp man living in the bog. Oh, feeling like a czar. <laughs> Little bitch fuckers on the spittle getting charred. What, what? Laura Palmer's dead, and her dad is the swamp thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this movie was good. I like this. Yeah, this it was, was fun. <laughs> well, what were we ex- really expecting? It's a Wes Craven movie. 
Yeah. Wes Craven is I just didn't doubt is it. a good director. Yeah, I know. I didn't doubt it, but like still, like the fact that it was actually good, I'm I'm, I'm proud of it. You know, I'm yeah. happy that it turned out as good as it was. It was you know? Yeah, it was better than Man Thing, even. In my well, opinion, Man Thing was, was awful. Man Thing. Yeah, exactly. It was way more. Man Thing like, wasn't good. Yeah. Even a little bit. It yeah. wasn't even entertainingly bad. It was just boring. Yeah. This is what this is what I wanted Man Thing to be, but yeah. Man Thing was way too like dark, gritty, and stupid for its own good. Like it, it should have honestly just been like a lot more like hokey and fun. Yeah. Like this was a lot more like hokey and fun. Well, at least the uh, the female lead from Man Thing has gotten work. Yeah, that's true. She's um, uh, what's her name? It's uh, it's Patsy. She's Patsy in uh, uh yeah, she in Jessica in, uh, Jones. Jessica Jones. Like she was actually doing things. She's good. Hey, hey, you watch Grey Grey. <laughs> God damn it! But uh, okay, we started out. We get uh, opening text uh, so, about something and crashing, crashing into the forest. But it, and, uh, but it's just having dark dreams. Like, what is this all of a sudden? No, this this is, blue? no it's nothing actually. They're just being all like. Someone's in someone's research crashes against another's evil intent and yeah, but yada like, yada yada. And yeah, Adrian, but it sounds like a fucking opening to like a Lovecraft novel. And Adrian, yeah, the colors out of space are responsible for Swamp Thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, start, it's shaping up like that actually. The colors versus Swamp Thing would be really fucking good. Color versus Swamp Thing. Like that would be that would be like them like, tiptoeing around each other, just like that would work really green. well because the color is trying to fuck with the essentially with the green. Yeah, and the and Swamp Thing is a protector of the green. So like no no, he's yeah. like no 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 no. <laughs> I am the, I am the representative of green. It's like wait, would the color then be the red? No, the color would be the rot. Ooh, from, the the, rot. from the animal man. Yeah. No, the color, I think the color is just its own thing, because it's not trying to kill life, it's trying to remake life in its own image. It, it, yeah, it's trying to, like, create, like, recreate it into what it thinks it knows about us. Well, frankly, we don't know what the color wants, because that's the nature of mythos shit. Yeah, but it does, like, take parts of what it thinks it knows about us, and then, like, uses, the, uses it to, like, recreate us in some way. Mm. Like, it just reshapes us. Like, it's molding clay into, like, what it thinks the clay wants to be. It, it, it's trying to it's trying to impose its own will on us. It thinks it's a good guy. Yeah, it, it very much does. It's very wrong. Yeah, it's like, I'm so pretty, of course I'm a good guy. It's like, no, fucker, you, just because you look nice doesn't mean you're you're good. It's like, not everything that's that's pretty looking is, is substantially nice. I actually, I watched a Simpsons episode the other day. Yeah. That looked like it was going to go colors out of space. Yeah. Because he, he, he flees the Springfield to avoid a duel. Uh-huh. And he go, gets a farm, and then he goes to get some plutonium from the, the plant uh-huh. to, to enrich the soil. Yeah. And I just kind of assumed that it would go... Co- and obviously, because <laughs> he, he doesn't know what he's doing, so he mixes tomato and tobacco seeds to make uh, the tobacco oh yeah but i and he, but i didn't i didn't i forgot that he mixed the tobacco seed so he opened the tomato and it was like brown inside and i thought it was like oh is it going colors out of space <laughs> can this please go colors out of space yeah well because like the color is also like radioactively burns most things that come to contact with yeah the color is really bad yeah fucking horrible but uh, yeah we see uh we see a lady coming in on a helicopter uh this is our main hero she is, uh... And, uh, let's, let's have a party is playing. Yeah. And, um, some big guy with a mustache is eating tobacco. Says, this thing will make you into a goddamn sexual tyrannosaur. <laughs> like me. Like me. <laughs> and Arty Adriana Barbeau just, just kind of like, look, okay. just looks at him <laughs> and then ignores him for the rest of the flight. Yeah. <laughs> and then he asks her if she's an alligator and she stares at him again. Well, it's like, where's the nearest restaurant? If you're, uh, depends. If you're a human, it's off in, uh, it's back in, um, in Washington. If you're a gator. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, if you're a gator, it's going to be right where we land. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, you're not, you're not a gator, are you? And then she start, opens up her mouth and goes, yeah, and snaps his head off. Yeah. Totally right happy. there. 
then we see a guy getting chased down by a bunch of uh, terrorists. Of course. Because, of course, there's terrorists in the forest. Forest terrorists. Yeah. Forests, as, as they're called. Yep. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> the forest itself is a terrorist. A terrifying uh, terrorist. Ah! Are you scared? <laughs> Are you scared? Did I scare you? <laughs> oh, oh. Ah! I'm on now! <laughs> remember when Jeff Goldblum... Not Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Tuttle was funny? Yeah. I didn't do why. Color, not, not colors. Oh. I'm totally not downloading color out of space while we record this. <laughs> yeah, totally. Not at all. <laughs> but, uh... He, he gets tackled by these fucking terrorists' guy, and uh, the terrorists just pull out a snake and fucking yeah. forcefully, like, make it bite him. Because. 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 Just because they do that. That's why, what they do, and that's why they do it. Funny! <laughs> Donkey! Donkey. Funny. What? You this t- is my swamp! <laughs> <laughs> They're being led by Shrek. Yeah. Shrek's just grabbing them, and Donkey is fucking forced to bite them and inject its poison into them. <laughs> yeah, they're forcing a snake to bite them when they act when they have a perfectly good dragon they could be using instead. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, the do- the dragon's just gonna fuck them to death. Uh. <laughs> Baddragon.com. <laughs> So, um, we get, uh, just, like, the, the, the lady scientist being, uh... Yeah, they meet all the, the people, there's a... To a lab. Yep. She's uh, from the government. She represents the government. I represent the lollipop guild. <laughs> we do find this. This <laughs> does have the lollipop guild. But, uh... We get, uh, we get, like, her meeting this one dude who looks like fucking a regular crocodile, Dundee. And I wanted him to be wearing Oshkosh Bagosh shorts, but he wasn't. No, he's, he uh, wearing long pants. He was wearing, like, a safari hat and, like, glasses. Yeah. He, he's a, he's a lot like, like the, um, if you've seen shorts. Jurassic Park. Yeah. He's, like, that guy who's, like, clever girl. Yeah, I want that. I want him to be dressed like that dude because that dude's wearing gosh 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 shorts. I love it. Is he wearing shorts? I can't remember. I remember him wearing short shorts. I found that movie so fucking boring. Yeah, I know. You don't like Jurassic Park. It's not a good movie. <laughs> I like Jurassic Park. I think it was good. Yeah, you know, what what were you four when you watched it? No, I was only four. I was like I was like I think I was like six this time I watched it. I was like six or seven. Well, yeah, that explains why you liked it. Yeah, but I still like it now, even. Yeah, it's because you're nostalgic and blinded by your nostalgia. It's not no. a good film. It's no. not a good movie. I just It's a C-right monster flick. Just, just happen yeah, to have I like good... it because it's a shitty monster movie. I like it because of that. Do you agree that... I also like it for the characters. The characters are dumb and fun. Do you agree that the sequels are all terrible? Yeah. like uh, I like. I do like Lost World. Do you agree that the characters suck? Uh, in, in Lost World? In, no, in Jurassic Park. Uh, I I hate most of the characters in the newer Jurassic Park movies. The Me. first one, I liked uh, most of the characters. How? Uh, I like uh, I like Wade Knight. Alright. Wade Knight was a good character. Did you like the ch- stupid children? The stupid children, I liked them back in the day, but now I don't. Like, the, the little boy is the only one that I sort of even like. Even though he is somewhat annoying and useless, yeah. But like, yeah, they're they're still good characters Meh. in those movies. Meh. Like sometimes you're wrong. <laughs> Whatever. We're not talking about Jurassic Park. We're talking. And about it's Park. a good thing too, because I, thing. I, I already had to let's play that shit game. Yeah. So it's miserable. We'll, we'll digress here for a minute. Uh, she gets the she gets to the lab. Uh, we're introduced to uh Doctor Bad, which is uh. Basically, I think his name was Alan, but he's... he's uh, Alec. Uh, his name Alec. Alec? Alec Holland. Okay. Alec Holland, uh, played by uh, uh, fucking Palmer. Leland Palmer. Leland Palmer, father of uh, Sarah Palmer. Uh, yeah. uh, fucking uh, Laura Palmer from Twin Peaks. And I called it out. I was like, is that is that Leland Palmer? And, and you were like, yeah, it's Leland Palmer. I was like, yeah. 
<sighs> but yeah, it was like, yeah, that's that's Leland Palmer. Yep. He's 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 gonna wrap up his uh he's gonna wrap up filming and he's gonna wrap up his dead daughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um they go out like uh him and uh him and the doctor lady go out to fix a broken sensor out yep. in the swamp. Um uh, they find the thing And then Shrek and, mur- and they get get killed by Shrek. <laughs> get killed by Shrek. <laughs> I don't remember that part. <laughs> they get replaced with ogre clones. All of them are ogres. I'm an ogre. Rah. Cats and kit, cats and ogre suits. Boots and cats. <laughs> Puss and boots. <laughs> but um, this movie bump isn't really that interesting until the swamp thing shows up. Yeah, it's always just back and forth about like fauna. Well, like Flora, I mean. Yeah. Um, a lot of it is back and forth about Flora. They fuck around for a bit. There's a liquid that supposedly helps plants grow, but is also highly explosive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we hear that. We hear an explosion go off later, and we see that. Yeah. Like, when they come back from fixing the, the sensor. It makes plants grow super good, but it's... But it blows up. How it's, how it's, how this work? It's fucking flammable. It's like... Okay, well, there are things in nature that do blow up on their own. Yeah, but they don't generally help plants grow. <laughs> yeah, most of the time they don't. <laughs> kind of the opposite. This is this is nature boo though. This is fucking. This is like extracted yeah. from like the mother's tit. Like just straight up, like Mother Nature fucking gave this to us to promote plant growth and also blow motherfuckers up. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 explosive ecto cooler. Yeah. Uh, there's a fa- there's a mole ferret for some reason, and then Adrian Barbeau and Leland Palmer kiss, because I guess they're in love now. They hit it off. Well, I, I can't remember when or how they hit it off. This kind of, something exciting happened, and then talking on the boat. Yeah, but they didn't seem to. But she didn't seem to even like him a little bit. <laughs> I think it was. I think it mostly happened when they got back. And uh, uh, okay. fucking Dundee was like screaming at them about like about them ta- being uh, her taking the arcane the might kill you. What arcane's out there and he's gonna grab you and and do things to your brain and, yeah, and to your like, butt. And this and this harpy that just showed up for one day came down here and stole you. It's like what is this broad? She took you out into the swamp and like unguarded and everything. You were gonna get killed. It's like, well, it's all right, man. It's fine. Don't worry. But, oh, no, it's revealed that he is actually Alistair Arcane in the disguise. Oh, no. (laughs) I didn't see that one coming. (laughs) No, you did. I really didn't. I kind of saw it coming. I was like, this guy's an asshole. He's wearing a latex mask. Yeah. He's either in with the the, the terrorist or he He is the the leader of the terrorists. So they steal the notebooks from Alec and then kill him and he... they light him on fire. And he well, no, they they off. throw this super plant growth formula at him and then he catches fire yeah. and falls in the sw- and jumps into the swamp and dies. Yeah. And then Adrian Barbeau runs away, meets not Steve Urkel, who, <laughs> who's this fucking twelve year old who somehow owns a gas station. Did she? Did she really do that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm making an Urkel joke, okay? <laughs> and I was no, like, you've been making Urkel jokes all through the fucking film, did exactly. you know? <laughs> but I was, I was genuinely convinced it was Jaleel White. But it's it's a guy who's this kid's called this character's called Jude. Yeah. And this is the only thing this kid has ever played. Yeah. <laughs> it probably was, but like still, he, he looks enough like Julia White that I, I thought it was Julia White. So Arcane wants the last notebook, and once the Swamp Thing come, shows up to save Adrian Barbeau, he wants the Swamp Thing as well. Uh, yeah, but th- that becomes his plan by yeah. the end of it, really. Uh, it's it's a lot of terrorists shooting the Swamp Thing, yeah. and the Swamp Thing being unaffected by bullets, and then never learning. <laughs> That's true, but it is very affected by grenades. Well, not very effective, because he gets right back up. <laughs> Although we don't see him getting back up. Because no. this movie's cut very weirdly. 
quite strangely this movie is cut. But uh, we do we do end up hearing what the actual scientists like research is about, which is basically researching the the serum, which is apparently made of plant cells and has the nuclei of uh, animals, it has like animal nucleus. Yes. And you mentioned this, and it's spot on that. They're doing the exact same sort of research in uh, in the Batman movie with Poison Ivy. Yeah, this is exactly what Poison Ivy's plan is, to make plants that can fight back. Yeah. Wasn't it uh, Batman Forever? Was it Batman no. Forever or Batman... Uh, Batman Forever is with, Batman... The, with uh, Jim Carrey playing himself. Right, it was uh, it was Batman and Robin. Yeah. Yeah, it was Batman and Robin. But, uh, yeah, like you mentioned that part. And I was like, oh yeah, I almost forgot. That's exactly what they were like experimenting on. Which, both of them are... Like servants of the green, it, they're they're both. They're yeah, both but like poison ivy is a lot more evil. Yeah, but she has been doing a lot more uh, good things mm. in uh, more of the recent comics. She is more of like a an anti hero, or yeah. just like a uh, a vigilante of her own making. Even in like Arkham Asylum, she was uh, she was mostly like just helping you out until you have the big boss fight with her. But that was like because mm. you have to have a boss fight with Poison Ivy. Yeah, I think it's Arkham City where she was helping you out. Yeah, mostly in Arkham City. <laughs> Arkham right? Asylum, she tries to kill you with her flower. Yeah, right. but she helps you a little bit at first. Yeah. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, we get uh, we get like Arcade just reading the notebooks inside of his uh, his house, and he's like, "I want, I want, to, I want to know how many notebooks there actually were." Were there seven? Were there eight? Were there six? Because I only have, I only have about six now, and I think there was supposed to be seven. I think like he was missing like one. Yeah, the miss, they're like, missing the last like, notebook. It's not a very good movie. The notebook. <laughs> it's not a good movie. But he wants to write it. He wants to watch it. Yeah, he wants to watch it with his girlfriend. And he's like, and he's like, uh, we'll, we'll break out the tank. His, his name is the... Anton. Anton Arcane. Yeah. Uh, he's like, we'll break out the tank to go after whatever that thing in the forest is. Uh, break out the Panda Faust. And then his girlfriend screams, break out the Panda Faust! <laughs> That's not true. But he does say, if you need me, I'll be watching the notebook with my girlfriend. True. This is very true. Well, while they were having the attack at the lab, actually, like, there was a bunch of random pops in the water, and I wasn't sure what that was, if, like, the, the bad thing was just changing while, like, blowing up a little bit. Oh, it was farting. Or if they, they were just literally, like, throwing grenades into the water or something. It was just the bad thing farting. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, it's it's only natural. Thanks, Patrick. <laughs> it's only natural, SpongeBob. <laughs> After the the lab blows up, though, we see uh, Adriana like sneaking around in the forest. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of the terrorists are basically clearing the place out. Uh, one of them remarks that it stole her necklace, like that he stole her necklace. And uh, but this guy's not—he's not a bad guy. He put it on the—he uh, put it on a on a leaf. Yeah, his friend, his friend basically, who, who looks like Elliot Moose because he's got, like, fucking two horns growing out of his fucking hat, yeah. <laughs> grabs the necklace from it, uh, from, I mean, from it's, his it's, I mean, it's camouflage, but... It, yeah, but it still looks like fucking Elliot Moose. You look like fucking Elliot Moose. <laughs> he puts it on a goddamn, stu- like, a uh, goddamn stump and just leaves it for the girl, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Like, she'll, she'll go get it. It's like, as if she's going to fucking find it on the stump, as, like, uh, if she was just, like, far away. It's mm. Like, if she wasn't just sitting right there, she she probably would have never found it. Not that she cares, really, because, like, she'd probably be more interested in running away, you would think? Yeah. From the terrorists? One would think. One would think. Uh, but she ends up getting captured, and then she gets her life saved by the swamp thing. But she's like, no, go away, shoo, I don't like you. Yeah. And he's like, go... Oh. But me, I'm Alec Holland. Me, I'm Grandma Swamp. <laughs> now, would you like to explain Grandma Swamp to me? <laughs> yeah, sure, I get. Uh, it has to do with the woolly hole. The woolly hole. <laughs> it's part of the woolly mythos. The fact that woolly is, is also known as Grandma Swamp. <laughs> By who? Because he comes from the bayou. <laughs> I thought he came from Granada. 
<laughs> he does. Oh, there's a bayou. But if he's in the if he's ever in the bayou, they know him as Grandpa Sloth. <laughs> they do, huh? He he's he is known by many names. The woolly is uh, is a is a very uh, a very known species, and uh, he gets quite aggravated when uh, when not offered uh, sacrifices of short-haired women and pie. What about short-haired pie? <laughs> Strawberry short-haired pie. <laughs> Does that count? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Lit up rockberries. <laughs> <laughs> Little known fact, Wooly actually lives at Rockyberries. <laughs> is Rockyberries still a thing? Yeah, of course it's still a thing. They have the best pies ever. I thought they closed down or something. Yeah, but uh, they, you would think so. But in in fact, the Wooly holes that are in every single Rockyberries keep the place open. So Wooly's won't let Wooly won't let it close. Yeah, he won't. That makes sense. He will not. Much like Swamp, uh, Grandma Swamp won't let anybody die in this film. <laughs> Yeah. So <laughs> we get uh, we get him just basically throwing people around. Yeah, he does this. Of, that's his main fighting style: is whipping people at other people. Yeah, <laughs> throw a motherfucker at another motherfucker. Yeah, it's the best strategy. Yeah, <laughs> it works. Fucking what else happens? Oh yeah, <laughs> we get a stupid fucking line <laughs> from Arcane. Who, who gets told about fucking uh, the, the, the Grandma Swamp. And he just, he's like, what? They they found an abdominal snowman. Uh, the one of the goons says, hey, it's an abdominal, one of them, uh, was one of them abdominal snowmen. <laughs> Describe to the audience what you imagined. I imagined a fucking Yeti wh- whose entire torso <laughs> was just like an 18 pack. His whole chest. This whole family. <laughs> all chest. All abs. It's all abs. <laughs> Just walking abs. <laughs> he's like he's like those pictures you see of like the guys that have been fucking juicing for like four years. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking monster. He's man. like eight Adam drivers. Yeah. It's like it's just a fucking it's just a Yowie with massive fucking abdominals and he's holding a Daki Makara. And he's and he's chug, and he's chugging fucking a, a, a cup noodle. Why does why do you always have to bring the Daki Makara? In? <laughs> why is it always the fucking Daki Makara with because you? Because he's a walking Yowie and he's carrying a Daki Makara. Ma- Yowie can't walk. You're being silly. <laughs> yes, it can. You seen that one video of Trump walking through the forest all hairy? <laughs> Okay, back on track. <laughs> what? We're not on track? No, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> We're talking about Grandma Swamp walking through the forest. Can you get back to the movie? <laughs> Donkey Walk. Shut <laughs> up about it. Adriana Barbeau. <laughs> so, Adri- uh, Adrian Barbeau finds out that Al- the Swamp thing is Alec Holland. Yeah. He gets his arm cut off with a machete. Uh-huh. Um, he's mad because he can't pick stuff up to do with science anymore. Yeah. He also can't <laughs> grab her tits without fucking blowing them up. That's not... No, that's not... It's enough. true. It's not... The problem isn't he blows it up. The problem is his hands can't, are too slippery to pick shit... To pick up lab equipment. Ooh, kinky. <laughs> Just how I expected. <laughs> oh yeah, Arcade says like it's not like he's keeping a low profile. The next shot, Swamp Thing's fucking screaming at the top of his lungs yep. in the middle of the forest. He is indeed. Oh man. Uh, oh yeah. At that point, basically, like uh, a bunch of grenades get whipped at him. Yeah. And then he just he just constantly is in a never ending cycle of getting blown up, and and not standing back up. He gets he gets blown up, falls down, and another grenade goes off in the next shot. We get a shot of them throwing another grenade, and then the shot subsequently after that, he's already standing up, being blown up again. Mm. It's like it's like the director's just like he's getting shit on by grenades <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Do we want any shots of of, uh, of of Leland Palmer getting back up? No. Just keep throwing grenades at him. 
It's like, are you sure, Director? Are you sure we don't need any more? Are you sure, Mr. Craven? Yes, I have spoken. <laughs> da, 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 Oh, yeah, you want to talk about the transitions? Oh, squiggles. <laughs> oh, yeah, first, uh, the first bad transition was, like, just a bunch of fucking squiggles. And I was like, that's pretty bad. But, like, then we see one of, like, an explosion when the boats fucking blow up. Yeah. And you were like, that's worse. Yeah, it was, it's like the thing you see on cheap uh, school posters. The thing you can do in Photoshop. Yeah, it's the big, dumb, stupid fucking explosion shape. It's a big, green, stupid Yosh. It's a big Star of David. No, it's not the Star of David, Geo. It's the Star <laughs> It could be the Star of David. You just have to draw the Star of David on top of it. Or you could very much not, please. Yeah, or not. <laughs> piss off. The, the Jew, the Jewish people. Oh come on! They know that like a bunch of goy would make a joke like that, wouldn't they? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, like, no, like I just imagine, I just imagine them fucking like listening to us and just being like these these goy putt snatchers, these fucking idiots. <laughs> Like they they they, they want to draw their star of David all over the place, the sugar. All right, um, <laughs> back on track. So, Alistair Arcane kidnaps everybody except for Jude. Jude's out of the movie for a bit. Oh yeah, he gets shot. Yeah, he gets shot, and Alec cures him with green glowy hand. Yeah, he gets shot, and uh, Adrian Barbeau gets kidnapped, mm-hmm. and 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 Grandma Swamp comes up and just heals Jude. And then he gets kidnapped. Yeah, he goes, "Oh lordy, boy, you got shot dead." And he's like, and he's like, yeah, come on, come on, Grandma Swamp will uh, treat you. Yeah, get a nice bowl of gumbo. But so they, you. but they do kidnap Swamping <laughs> as well, and they're they're having a big party with exotic dancers. Uh-huh. And Anton Arcane's like, "Hey, you goon, drink this potion, uh-huh. and you'll become like the Swamp Thing." Mm-hmm. But no, he doesn't. He becomes a little midget with Yoda ears. <laughs> he's got like, no, he's got like elf ears. He looks he's like, like um, he looks like a hobbit. What he looks like is, you know that pink Yoda-ish thing from the prequels that's in one shot? Uh, looks like him. <laughs> yeah, he's also got, like, horns. I think he has horns. Yeah, little horns. Yeah. Little horn. Yeah, this is little horn. This and then he's he's son. torturing, um, then Anton's like, this is not what I wanted. Mm-hmm. And he's torturing Swamp Thing. He's like, why does he, is he not like you? Why is he a tiny fucking midget? It's like, it's... it amplifies what you already are. Oh, because he's an idiot. He get he has to be a midget. Okay. He's a little no. He's a little man on the inside. That's why he hurts people. Does yeah. he get it? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's what the, that's what the director's trying to say. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Ask me what it means. Ask me what it means. Ask me what it means. <laughs> Sorry, Wes, but sometimes you get a moment where it's like, ask me, ask me what it means. So, Anton decides that he will drink the potion, mm-hmm. and so he does drink the potion, and it first he's melting. And then he turns he's into a, melting man. and then he turns into like a, a, a boar, bat, some kind of hairy monster. Which it's looks, a yeti. He just turns into a big fucking. But it looks foot. like if you've ever seen that movie, The Village, it looks like the things under the cloaks. Right. Looks a bit like the things under the cloaks, but not as stupid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It looks. It looks a lot like, a lot like scarier than those things. That the, because yeah. those things are just. Dumb looking in yeah. general, so like, no, the village is a bad fucking movie. Yeah, it is because oh, you know why it's a bad movie. What? Because it's by a bad director. It's pretty true. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue that. <laughs> um, if you want a great, a, a great, enjoyable experience, um, go watch uh, Lady in the Water mm-hmm. and try to parse all the nonsense words that movie has in its script. Talking about <laughs> oh, fucking God. narfs. I might watch it actually. <laughs> Narf. A Madam Narf. <laughs> of Narf and Men. Yeah. <laughs> was that was that a Pinky in the Brain episode? I feel like one Pinky in the Brain episode would be called Of Narf and Men. You know what? Probably. <laughs> it would. Uh but uh, yeah, him turning into a fucking monster was pretty cool though, because he like cocoons and then he yeah. comes out as a Bigfoot. He becomes Danger Bigfoot. He does. 
they 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 have like this big party though. There's like a massive yeah, party. Yeah, we, we talked about the party already. Yeah, but what we didn't talk about was Adriana Barbeau bathing yeah. and showing off her breastuses, yeah. which were magnificent tits. Or gorgeous. Beautiful. Kids watch this movie. <laughs> or Adriana Barbeau's movies. Of course they did. <laughs> yes, they did. And they still should, because they're glorious. Oh, say can boobies by the dawn early light be gorgeous and... Okay. Can we, can we, can we keep going here? Yeah. Um, You're the one who keeps getting distracted, dude. Oh, yeah, the fucking... I did want to mention, though, like, I, there was a reason why I brought the party back, though. Because, like, the fucking speech that Arcane has is, like, the dumbest thing ever. It's like, gentlemen... We have captured the dragon and, and saved, saved the, the damsel. damsel. So he turns into a pig monster and takes a sword off the wall. <laughs> yeah, he fucking grabs for the sword. Um, Alec Holland put a bitch to the sword. Swamp Thing grows a new <laughs> Swamp Thing grows himself a new arm group style. And then yeah, the to mid- get them out of there. Yeah, and the midget yeah, help and the midget helps him escape. Oh yeah, the midget got locked in with them because yeah, they were like sorry. Sorry, Bruno, it's for your own good. Then they go. Then they go to the swamp, and Swamp Thing fights Arcane. Mm-hmm. But Arcane impa- like stabs Adrian Parpo with a sword, and so Swamp Thing gets a club and beats the shit out of him. <laughs> oh yeah, Sasha Baron Cohen trips up the pig, bu- uh, the pig man. Yeah, and and, uh, and he just like fucking horn swoggles away. Yep, <laughs> and like Arcane's got the sword and like turns around to look at the little midget, and he's like, "Ah, come here, you little fucker!" I cut your goddamn head off. So after um after Swamp Thing beats Arcane to death with a stick, uh-huh. he sticks the sword in the swamp like a fucking gravestone, mm-hmm. and then heals Adrian Barbeau with his magic green. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then she like, leaves. I was like, Grandma Swamp, Sw- Grandma Swamp cares about the girl, and you're like, no. Why would Willie care about uh, care about the girl with long hair? And I'm like, but what if he swung the sword and cut her hair off? And you're like, yeah, then that would happen. <laughs> like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, turning into the monster was a cool scene. I like that effect. They did a really good job with that. It's the gu- it's the ultimate battle, the Guardian of the Red versus the Guardian of the Green. Yeah, pretty much. It, it, it did devolve into that, and we only got that one midget. There's no other midgets. Right no, the, the, the trailer lied. <laughs> it lied to us. It lied to me. Like I mean, fucking Shrek had more midgets in it. Yeah. Than this film. It had like seven at least. Oh my God. And only two monsters. Yeah, that's true. Well, unless you. thing. And Arcane. And, and Arcane. Those are the only two monsters. Unless you want to count the midget as a monster in itself, which all midgets are affected by a disease, thus making them mutants. Yeah. Okay, uh, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I should be I shouldn't be making fun of little midgets. <laughs> or calling them midgets in general. You're not a tall person. I'm pretty tall. Six foot. No, you're not. <laughs> you're an foot. itty bitty geo boy. Hey, I'm a big man, okay? No, you're not. <laughs> I represent the green, okay? You're, no, you represent the fucking lollipop guild. Hey, I'm a tall boy. <laughs> Go back to Dishonored. Go <laughs> crawl back to my woolly hole. <laughs> so, yeah, that was Swamp Thing. By Wes Craven. Oh yeah, you, uh, we, we forgot to mention though that like after she gets stabbed, Swamp Thing brings her back. No, I I, expl- I, t- I talked about that. You just weren't did, paying did attention. You? Yeah. Oh yeah. Did brings you mention that Jude comes back though? Yes, I did. And this is. Oh. Okay. And he shows up now for the first time in like an hour of screen time. Okay. Well, that's that's the whole movie then. Yeah. I, just, um, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, no, you don't. It's... This is the Swamp Thing. I give this movie Monsters and Midgets. What do you give it? Um, <laughs> I give it a tiny net over <laughs> Swamp Thing. Oh, like, yeah, the it net. It impedes his progress. And he falls over like an idiot. <laughs> it impedes his strength, this tiny net. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> hey, you know what would have actually impeded the strength of an object by a tiny net? Fire? No, the midget. 
Midget would have been impeded by a tiny net because it is a tiny man. Mm. A tiny man. You know they're making a movie called The Invisible Man. Yeah. <laughs> and I just fucking I just I keep like thinking of that one fucking Conan sketch from Saturday Night Live that's just the, incre- the Invisible Man. <laughs> you realize that the Invisible Man movie is a remake of the H. G. Wells Invisible Man, right? Oh, is it? Yes, yeah, they're tr- trying to. They're still trying to do that universal, that dark universe. Oh, interesting. Even though no one wants the dark universe to be a thing. Okay. Well, like it could have easily just been a movie called The Invisible Man. No, it, it's it. It's, I mean, fucking Hollow Man was just a movie about an invisible Kevin Bacon. Was he fighting graboids? He should have been. Or was he fighting the X Men? <laughs> Both. He's had to fight Graboids and the X-Men, this guy. Yeah, he had to fight Graboids and Mutants and Midgets. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mutants and Midgets are the same thing. <sighs> Couldn't Midget join the X-Men? I thought one already did. Our Isn't mid- Cannonball part of the X-Men? Cannonball's not a Midget. Yes, he is. No, he isn't! Yes, he is! He's fucking Cannonball! And Paul's, I think you're thinking of the wrong guy. No, Campbell's part of uh, Campbell's part of uh, fucking uh, the 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 Guardians, right? No, um, what are the what are the fucking Canadian uh, Alpha Flight? Alpha Flight. That's there Puck. Go. Oh yeah, there we go, Puck. Right. Cannonball's the guy who farts and rocket propels himself. <laughs> That's even dumber. You know, <laughs> you know Cannonball. That's even dumber. He's though. in uh, he's in Deadpool and Cable, Cannonballs. Oh yeah, yeah, him. Okay. <laughs> but like, yeah, I I was thinking of Puck. I was actually thinking yeah. of Puck then. Puck is a midget though. Uh, yeah, and and Puck from Berserk is also like a the only reason furry. the only reason Wolverine joined up with with Alpha Flight is to be on a team where he's not the shortest person. <laughs> okay. Well then, I'm right then. Yeah. You know, Puck is Puck is. Yeah, but you were wrong because you said it was I was. Cannonball. I said the wrong name. Yeah, I know. No, because when I think of Puck, I just think of Puck from Berserk. I don't think of Puck from Alpha Flight. Well, I generally think of Puck from Midsummer Night's Dream because I'm not a man of culture. But, well, great minds think completely fucking different thoughts. Yeah, minds, I guess I don't fucking know. Yeah. But uh, anyways, that's the movie. Next time we got another... That's a wrap, folks! Enjoy this picture of the swamp thing sitting in a chair! Thank you for hijacking my review again. <laughs> hey, me I told you work. I wanted to have that picture. At the I, know, okay, so just show it right I know, I know. I hope you guys enjoy it. Too. But next time we got another movie. Uh-huh. It's a movie mm-hmm. about, uh, about little puppets. More puppets made uh, on string. There ain't no strings on this movie. Probably because it goes off the fucking rails and nothing could goddamn control And I don't know why they anymore. keep making them. <laughs> this series should have been cut like the string it fucking has attached to it. <laughs> Probably. Lord fuck knows. <laughs> why the hell it's still going? I cause and you know what the worst thing is? It is still going. Uh, it's still making new ones. I must return to the hats. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> anyway, this show, we do push up the show aside of friendship and servility. <laughs> How fascinating! <laughs> All right, bye guys. Watch this movie if you want to, because it's pretty good. And you get to see Adrian Barbo's tits, I guess. Win, win, win. Four, four wins, I guess. I don't know. Double wins because those. Tits are just double amazing. Two scoops! Two scoops!